Today is a maximum effort lower day, so you know what that means. I will keep saying it until the day I die. Listen to me, you have to take advantage of an opportunity of a lifetime and the lifetime of the opportunity. What am I telling you? I'm telling you there must be a sense of urgency. That you got that what separates the boys from the men, the, the women from the girls, is how they utilize their time. Let's go get it. Maximum effort, lower day. but 175 right now, then we'll go to 195 and work our way there, then do squats, but let's see how these deadlifts go. Alright, that was supposed to be 175 for a single, I just saw the camera fell, but I did get it, going up to 195 now. Gonna be honest, 195 felt pretty heavy, but really want to break that 200, so that's what we're gonna go for next. I know the camera angle for that wasn't the best, but form definitely was not there, but I did lock out. But so it's 205 for a single, which is a 10 pound PR, even for being in a deficit, which is pretty good, but definitely gotta work on the form. You guys probably couldn't tell the angle. But now I'm just gonna drop it down to 145 and just go for reps, and then we'll hit squats and see how that goes.
think of that workout. Um, it was alright. Accessory work was definitely better. I feel like I got a lot more out of that. And that kind of tells me a lot too, because since I am a deficit, working with lighter weights but for more reps is going to be more optimal for me. I was trying to work up to heavy single for deadlifts and squats. I did deadlifts first because that was available. I got 195, which felt heavy, unfortunately. I did put 205 on the bar. And although I got it and locked out, which you guys saw, wasn't the best form. You know, would not probably count for a meet or anything like that. So I know I have a lot to work on, but I think from here on out, I'm going to try to work with like 75% and lower for all of my workouts rather than anything higher than that just because I am in a deficit so just kind of have to scale things back a little bit just get more out of my workouts that way get a good sweat in make sure my form is there rather than trying to go for PR so kind of just a mental check but not too bad workout was good I did for accessory work the uh, leg press hamstring curls hip abduction and abduction and some uh, calf raises so a lot of accessory work which was good I'll definitely be sore tomorrow I just got to focus on doing the right thing. But that's going to do it for the workout footage. Hopefully you guys like that. And if you did, that thumbs up is always helpful. We're getting there on followers on Instagram. I think we're like 50 away from 2000. We still got a way to, ways to go for subscribers. So make sure you subscribe and there will be a good giveaway at the end. But that's going to do it for this. I've got to get back, shower, eat, hopefully shower. And then got work today and I got a pack since it is Easter break. I'm going to be going home on Thursday. So lots to do and I'll take you guys through that. at it again it's Tuesday so that means play practice they have this practice and next week and then after that it's like their final show we'll see how they go they've got their costumes today they're just so funny it makes my day being here it really does again it's like first and second graders putting on this little skit it's maybe like a few minutes but they're getting there and as I'm watching I'm gonna have this I've been having like four meals a day, three of them being like regular meals and then one being a snack. I'm gonna have this now and I'm studying. Studying to get my certification, so try to knock out a few things while I'm here, but they're so funny. So that's gonna do it for this episode. I just got done work, it's about six o'clock, uh, just before six o'clock. Got a ton of stuff to do between packing, editing this video, studying and homework, all that fun stuff, you know, all the daily work. But another good day, definitely gonna be sore tomorrow. I took a shower right after I got home from the gym and I was in the shower, I'm like, oh crap, like I am gonna be so sore tomorrow. But it's good, I just need to know that I can't always go, you know, 90% and try to go for PRs in the gym all the time, especially being in a deficit. So kind of reality check today in the gym, but that's all right because sometimes you need that. So definitely gonna be sore. Tomorrow's episode will be um, chest and back. So that is gonna be a focus. We'll see how my back is feeling. Sorry, we'll see how my back is feeling after today's work, but so far so good. And also since it is Easter break this weekend, I'm gonna do not an extra cardio session, but I'm gonna do my cardio session that I normally do during the weekend, during the week. So I'll still be getting four cardio sessions in, but I'd rather do it during the week so I'm not stressing to trying to get that done. During the weekend, you know, when I'm home and with family, that way you can just spend time with family and focus on that rather than spending more time in the gym. So make sure you guys are preparing for stuff like that. You know, just think ahead, always write stuff out, think about what you need to do and find a way to get it done. Because if you truly want to get something done, you will find a way no matter what. You gotta get your priorities in line. So that's gonna do it for today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Giveaway should be kind of coming soon. Don't forget that. Make sure you subscribe and information for Instagram is always down below. Thank you guys once again for everything. I got a lot of good feedback about the motiv motivation, 
that I include in my video, so I will continue to do that for you guys because that not only helps me to talk about it, but I know it helps a lot of you as well. So thank you, and as always, have a great week.